After spending a peaceful night at the cavearge, we headed out to travel to the ancient stone structures. The trail from which we came the previous day was very rocky and difficult, so we decided to try another trail. But we soon realized that it was heading the opposite direction. So eventually we had to retrace our steps. The mountain behind me is home to an archaeological site and this has stone structures. There are different types of stone structures. The one up here is a pendant type which are over 7,000 years old and are believed to be burial sites. While we were in the air, we actually spotted a second stone structure at the other end of the mountain. So when we came in closer to investigate, it seemed to be another pendant type structure, but the features of this one were more eroded. This mountain is quite steep and difficult to climb. So since it was getting late, we decided to try to hike up it the next day. So we've decided to camp over here. We're not far from where the mountains with the stone structure is, and we're just going to settle down and wait for the sun to set. So now we're all settled in and I'm just going to take you on a tour of the tent. So we step inside. These are our custom-made, extra-thick Turkish carpets, so we get all the cushioning we'll ever need. We have pillows, we even have a window, and we usually keep it open even though we could close it. Um, by the way, it's not just like empty, there is like fabric, yeah. So we usually keep it open just so like we could see the night sky while we're sleeping. Also so that there's like ventilation of air, yeah. In the two corners, we have pouches just so we could store our like personal belongings before sleeping, like our glasses, phones, etc. We have a couple of sleeping bags. It's probably not gonna get too cold today, but better to be safe than sorry. We usually do sleep on the roof rack, but not today. We, and we have a lantern! That's quite a nice moon. We're gonna be having fried noodles for dinner today. So this is how to use a kitchen knife. First of all, you want to pinch over here and wrap your hand, your fingers around the handle. Do not hold to the back or else you're gonna have no control and you'll probably end up cutting yourself. Then you want to keep your four fingers in a claw and you want to keep your thumb behind them and you want to be very careful, okay? Remember that this can literally chop off your finger if you aren't careful. So first you add some oil and you add the onions and you just wait until they're brown.
noodles are cooking. Dinner is ready. Don't know about you, but it's quite eerie camping so close to a burial site. Ah! <gasps> oh, it's, oh, 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 it's, it's just you. Oh, that's scary. 